we're very excited to have the opportunity to have the Smart Pups program at Palin Creek and it's on the back of the success of the uh, program at Burrellan. Today we are really lucky to be bringing out the beautiful Bo and Twiggy into Palin Creek Correctional Centre. So Palin Creek is our third correctional centre that we've been able to develop a relationship with and it's just fantastic to be able to have this service. It enables us to have uh, more dogs on the program which means that uh, more of our families can receive their dogs in a timely manner. I actually was involved with Smart Pups at Burrellan Training Correctional Centre first. I uh, instigated the program over there and then I've been waiting a little period of time for uh, Palin Creek to become available and we've just uh, integrated the program in Palin Creek with them receiving their first pups today. So the prisoners involved in the Smart Pups program are actually responsible for a puppy 24 hours of a day, seven days a week. They don't ever get a break from that. And that's teaching them to have responsibility and care for another individual, which is life skills that's just going to benefit them upon release. I'm hoping to see them develop their communication skills to a higher level. They're also working on their written communication skills and on their cognitive and thought processes involved when they uh, provide feedback to the Smart Pups trainers on a fortnightly basis. I started the program at Borellan. I just want to give something back to the community. I didn't realise how rewarding it would be until I, I started to do it. The dogs don't care who you are, what you are, what you've done, they're non-judgmental and that fits in with the philosophy of Parliament Creek and our philosophy is to influence the mindset of prisoners, um, so to break that cycle of re-offending. The, the pups um, tend to have a calming influence on, on the prisoners or the handlers and the other prisoners around them, so that in turn um, contributes to an office of safety, so it's a win-win all around. Good, good boy, Dan. Good boy. When you see the end product, I had a, a chocolate lab, same as Bo, a female named Honey, and she went on to be pretty special. I think a, an insulin dog, which is pretty rare. Uh, and uh, you, you realise what they're there for. It is one of the most rewarding things I've done.